We'll now provide a general overview of Tajfel's minimal group experiments. Firstly, there's group formation. Participants were randomly assigned to groups based on minimal and insignificant criteria, such as the flip of a coin or their preference for certain abstract paintings. These groups had no pre-existing social, cultural or historical meaning. Secondly, resource allocation. Participants were then asked to distribute resources, such as points or rewards, between themselves and other group members, such as the in-group, and members of the other group, such as the out-group. Thirdly, in-group favouritism. The results consistently showed that participants tended to allocate more resources to their in-group members compared to out-group members. This in-group favouritism occurred even when the groups were formed arbitrarily and had no real significance. Fourthly, minimal conditions. Tajfel's experiments demonstrated that even the most minimal and arbitrary group distinctions were enough to elicit intergroup discrimination. This finding challenged previous theories that emphasised the importance of significant differences between groups for intergroup bias to occur. And lastly, positive social identity. The findings supported social identity theory's central idea that individuals seek to enhance their self-esteem and social identity by positively differentiating their in-group from out-groups, even when there is no real basis for such differentiation.